Hi friends, today I'm driving Sonora Pass and I'm looking for some of the beautiful Sierra Nevada fall colors. Come join me. Sonora Pass is a wonderful scenic drive along Highway 108, which connects the 395 and the 99, taking you up and over the Sierra Nevada Range. Although slightly less high than Tioga Pass to the south, Sonora certainly isn't for the faint of heart. It is entirely paved, but there are some steep, narrow, and rather curvy sections. However, if you're up for an adventure, the fall views here can be spectacular. Just north of the Sonora Pass Junction, the West Walker River hugs Highway 395 and provides some beautiful fall scenery. The Walker River Canyon and Antelope Valley here are peppered with an array of pine, willow, aspen, and cottonwood, creating a wonderful array of greens, yellows, and orange colors in the autumn. This area typically turns later in the autumn season than some of the southern areas like Bishop and Mammoth. So if you miss the colors peaking in other Eastern Sierra spots, this is a great place to check out. Three favorite spots to enjoy the autumn hues here are the overlooks for Sardine Meadow, Levitt Meadow, and Levitt Falls. These old abandoned buildings near Levitt Meadow are truly fascinating. Along with the fall colors, there are beautiful juniper trees here to enjoy.
While the drive does close for winter, just off the side of the road there are wonderful views of multiple waterfalls including Levitt Falls and Sardine Falls. Levitt Falls is a 200-foot multi-tiered waterfall and a turnout on Highway 108 provides views of the falls and the meadow from a lovely wooden viewing platform. The falls themselves are not fully accessible by trail, but there is a steep narrow box canyon that you can get closer views if you're willing to scramble just a bit. One thing I love about this waterfall is even in autumn, you can still see the water really flowing. And a lot of our California waterfalls tend to lessen to a trickle by the time autumn arrives. One thing that makes Levitt Falls especially unique is the waterfall and fall colors can be seen side by side and that's not something you often see here in California. The highest point of Sonora Pass reaches 9,624 feet, and it also crosses from Mono County into Tuolumne County. At the highest point of the Sonora Pass, the Pacific Crest Trail actually crosses the road here. It's fun to get a tiny taste of the Pacific Crest Trail here. One of the fun things about this drive is crossing from the Toyabe National Forest to the Stanislaus National Forest. As you continue to drive Highway 108, it grows more steep and winding, but the views are always spectacular. And along with the incredible fall colors, Dead Men Creek and the Middle Fork Stanislaus River start to come into view here.
The most impressive fall colors are often considered to be on the east side of this drive, but as you pass the highest point and head west, I think there are some pretty impressive strands to see. A must-stop spot for me on this journey is the Middle Fork Stanislaus River. Check out these views. Columns of the Giant is a great Sonora Pass stop. Not only do you get some of the fall colors, but this is an easy half mile self-guided walk. You'll definitely want to stretch your legs here. For details on this geological wonder, make sure to watch my YouTube video vlog number 106 and see my full Columns of the Giants blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. There are many gems in Stanislaus National Forest, but Columns of the Giants should not be missed. If you're impressed by these columns, make sure to check out Devil's Post Pile in the Mammoth Lakes area and watch my vlog number eight for details. Thank you so much for joining me today along Sonora Pass. And for more information, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. Now there I also have full travel guides for Yosemite and Eastern Sierra fall colors. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.